Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, so we'll continue discussing some problems uh, related to PN junction diodes. In my previous uh, video, I think we discussed uh, two or three problems related to PN junction diodes where we understood various concepts associated with uh, the connection of diodes in a circuit and uh, the methods of forward and reverse biasing. So we'll continue that discussion with another numerical problem associated with p-n junction diode. So as you can see, uh, this is the circuit which is given and uh, it has been asked to determine whether this diode connected is forward biased or reverse biased or whether it is on or off. So we will uh, analyze this uh, circuit in this way. First, we will remove this diode. Okay, we'll just take the diode out of the question, uh, out of the uh, equation, and we'll just calculate the voltage between points one and two. Okay, we'll just determine the voltage between points one and two. Okay, so let us redraw the circuit, removing the diode from the circuit, just temporarily, for the purpose of analysis. Okay. This is the two diodes, uh, sorry, the two resistance. We are removing the diode. This is the eight kilo ohm and the 6 kilo ohm resistance, this is the ground. We have to determine the voltage between points V1 and V2. Now, you can see that the two resistors 2 kilo ohm and 8 kilo ohm are connected in series in between the voltage 10 volt and ground. Similarly, the resistors 4 kilo ohm and 6 kilo ohm are also connected in series in between 10 volt and ground. So we can determine the voltages V1 and V2 by applying voltage division rule. Okay? So the voltage V1 will be 10 volt into 8 kilo ohm by 8 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm. Okay, 10 volt. So this will be obviously 8 plus 2 will be 10, 10, 10 will get cancelled out, so it will be 8 volt. Okay, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 and 10 will get cancelled out, it will be 8 volt. Similarly, the voltage V2 is equal to 10 into 6 by 4 plus 6. So here 10 and 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 and 10 will get cancelled out. So it is 10 into 6 by 10, 10 and 10 will get cancelled out, so this is 6 volt. So V1 is equal to 8 volt and V2 is equal to 6 volt. Now the voltage between points 1 and 2 is equal to V1 minus V2, which is equal to 8 volt minus 6 volt is equal to 2 volt. So this voltage here. volt. So if we connect a diode in a circuit, okay, if we connect a diode in a circuit, the P type end and the N type end, the voltage across the PN junction diode will be 2 volt. Now we know that whenever nothing is mentioned related to uh, the cut in voltage of the diode or the type of the diode, you have to consider that it is a silicon diode. Here it has been given that the diode is ideal. The diode is ideal means that the cut in voltage of the diode is 0 volt. Okay? Here is a, it has been mentioned that the diode is ideal. So the type of diode is not mentioned whether it is silicon or germanium or any other diode, but it has been mentioned that the diode is ideal. 
So any type of diode, if it is mentioned that the diode is ideal, it means that the cut-in voltage is 0 volt. Now here, the voltage across the diode is 2 volt. So 2 volt is obviously greater than 0 volt, we know 2 volt is greater than 0 volt. So the diode in this circuit will be forward biased because the voltage across the diode is 2 volt. The voltage across the diode is 2 volt. So this 2 volt is sufficient to turn the diode on because the diode is ideal. If it would have been a silicon or germanium diode 2 with cut-in voltages of 0.3 volt, uh, 0.7 volt and 0.3 volt respectively, in that case also the diode would have been forward biased because 2 volt is greater than 0.7 volt and 2 volt is greater than 0.3 volt. This is for silicon and this is for germanium. So even if it would have been it would not have been an ideal diode model, it would have been a simplified diode model with cut-in voltages of 0.7 volt and 0.3 volt, the diode would have been forward biased because the voltage across the diode we calculated as 2 volt. Okay? So this 2 volt would have turned the diode on, it would have been forward biased. So the diode in this uh, circuit is forward biased, the diode is forward biased.